Hey guys, I welcome you all to a super fresh video. In this one, I'll explain how I painted an artwork inspired from Ghost of Tsushima. Well, this is an image that I saw on Pinterest and absolutely loved the gloom and mystery that it communicates. So one of my major intent in this artwork is to communicate the same feeling of mystery, something what the samurai might be feeling. Each element of this image has its own depth and meaning. The sky suggests a thunderstorm, the amber trees suggest a feeling of hope, the calming white fields suggest peace. The whole image is set up in the samurai's journey from peace to another reality of utter chaos amidst an approaching storm. The software which I am using to create this artwork is called Heavy Paint and the device which I am using is iPad Air 4. The thing that I really like about Heavy Paint is that it resembles the traditional painting mediums mixed with the efficiency of digital ones. It has plenty of tools like rectangle, line tool, fill tool and one of the super cool property of these tools is that it adds more versatility to any shape that you draw using a feature that is known as color jitter. Now what is color jitter? Color jitter means that whenever you draw a shape using any color, the consecutive shape that you will draw will be of a slightly different color and shape. What this feature does is that it adds more depth, more visual language and color variations in your work without selecting new colors again and again. This artwork took me 43 minutes to make and I absolutely love to do and redo a lot of elements in this one. As you might have observed, I started without a base sketch and started painting directly. This is my process of uh, how I approach my art piece. I simply start from big chunks of shape and then slowly refine them. It's pretty much similar to sculpting. You can do something similar in your artworks too. Whenever you are studying an image, first start with really big chunks of shape and color block them. What this means is that you are making a shape and assigning a value to it. After you have composed your entire artwork with these big chunks of shapes, just slowly and thoughtfully start refining each shape by adding more smaller shapes till you are satisfied. If you will carefully look, this is what I did in this entire artwork. Making big shapes and then refining it by adding more smaller shapes. Okay, so now I'll stop speaking and let you guys see the whole time lapse. I hope you enjoy it and please don't forget to subscribe.